All right, my first guest, absolutely gorgeous Oscar-winning actress. Her new uh, film is called The Long Kiss Goodbye. You like action, folks? This. Well, good night. I keep saying goodbye. It's The Long Kiss Goodnight. If you like action film, this is an action film. Man, and she is good in it. It opens October 11th. Please welcome the lovely and beautiful Gina Davis. <laughs> Right there? They said to go this way. I'll go that way. This they is said the, you try to do it This the is the best part of the job. Let me see if I can get that there for you. I think that there. dress is on backwards. Hey, but then this is all sticking out here. Okay. You see, that's one. Oh. oh, there we go. Okay. You look lovely. You Thank look wonderful. You. That is a great dress. <laughs> but you always dress great. You you like to design your own things, don't you? Well, I, I like clothes. It's yeah. just a fun aspect of life, yes. And when you were a kid, you, did you sort of yeah, experiment? Yeah, I, I, wa I was obsessed with clothes. I used to uh, spend a lot of time designing bizarre clothes and, yeah. uh, and making them and wearing them to school and getting a lot of ridicule for it. But, uh, yeah, I, I would order, like, uh, big sheets of leather and make, like, purple hot pants with <laughs> suspenders. And it was bizarre. Yeah. Well, we both come from New England, and that yes. area tends to be a little... Conservative, yeah, what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, my family is, is very old time New England yeah, conservative. Yeah, were they, people, yeah, were they worried about Gina? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah. I, they couldn't understand where I got all this from. They really couldn't. Was there nobody sort of wild in your family? Because every family has sort of an uncle or, or yeah. a brother that's different. Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> I had an aunt, actually. Aunt Gloria was my hero and role model. She was very, she was. And, and to normal standards, she was completely, you know, yeah, like, normal. But yeah. she, because she, like, wore her hair in a French twist, which is the most exotic thing I'd ever seen, and, uh, and she would occasionally have a glass of wine with dinner, I, I, couldn't, I just couldn't believe it. I was agape every time I was with her. <laughs> and, uh, and I remember she would, she would say things like, you know, someday I'm going to have a Mercedes that's, that's beige with brown leather interior. And I thought, oh, my God. That's, that's, the, coolest that's the coolest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and I'm going to, someday I will have also a beige Mercedes. Was she single? Was she married? What was she, she was divorced. Ooh. Highly scandalous. Ooh. Unbelievably scandalous. Occasionally smoked a cigarette. I mean, it was really, like, mind You know, it's funny, because yeah. New England is like that. So yeah. I remember being in college, this is absolutely true, going home for college, like Thanksgiving or something, and my mother saying to my father while I was sitting there, you know, so-and-so got a D-I-V-O-R. My mother yeah, spelled yeah. divorce. Yes, I said, yes. Ma, I'm 21. I'm in college. I know what divorce is. heard of it, but, right. Well, we don't, you know, ooh, yeah. you know, I'm an adult now. It's yeah, a, yeah. <laughs> no, but my, my Aunt Gloria actually inspired me to be in uh, show business. She, she took me to my first play when I was 16. Just she and I went to uh, a dinner theater <laughs> in Framingham, Massachusetts. Oh, I know, the Chateau de Ville. Yeah, Is that Chateau it? I know that place, with, yeah. With a huge chandelier, and I couldn't believe it. And we sat, and she ordered wine <laughs> with the dinner, and it was Stubby K in The Last of the Red Hot Lovers. Yeah, oh, that's I, great. I couldn't believe it was. And that was a great dinner. That's the kind of dinner that, well, the actors are on stage, people come with plates. And you're clanking and everything. Yeah. Clang, like just clanging and banging. But, oh, wonderful. But I thought it was, it was the most fabulous thing, and I thought, someday, I am going to be in dinner theater. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be here someday, if I'm lucky. Now, you know what I want to ask? This is something I've wanted to ask you for a long time. Because this is one of those, uh, like an urban legend, one of those things that goes around and around. We've had this here for years. This is an old Victoria's <laughs> right Secret. Right there, and that's fine. No, 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 but I've had, this has been around. And everyone says, this is you in this Victoria's Secret catalog picture. I think it's you, but I don't. Can I ask you this? Put it up there and tell me. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Is it you? It is you. It is you. No wow. That's a great outfit. <laughs> I was going to wear that tonight. I, no, was, oh, you know, I was between wow. that and that. Yeah. Now, what year? When is this? This That's is like uh, 84 80 something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now, how did this go over back in New England? Did they see this? Did uh... they? The, uh, well, yeah. They were a little. They were a little shocked. My mom cuts out everything I'm ever in and laminates it, and uh, <laughs> and I don't think that the Victoria's Secret catalog no, has been laminated didn't, yet. Didn't no. get in there. <laughs> Didn't quite make it. Didn't, didn't quite. Make it. Now, let me ask you about this movie now. Though. Yes. I keep saying the long kiss. It's good night. Good I said night. goodbye twice. I'm sorry. Yes. But it, boy, this really is an action film. I mean, this is yeah. like uh, certainly with up there. If you like, you know, Terminator and all. I mean, you're right yeah. in there. Yeah. And you did the stunts, so. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's amazing to me. That one <laughs> stunt. Because I said no way. And you know, I, I went like this after I saw the film. I said freeze frame it. <laughs> And it really is. And you, you. go, oh my God. She's well, I insane. do that in the nude yeah. scenes anyway. But this was I wanted to see just for the. 
I mean, you really jumped out that window. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And Sam Jackson and I, we both, we both did it. Yeah. Now your husband, Rennie Harlan, directed mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Now, <laughs> I mean, I know a lot of guys would like to have their wife jump out a third story window, but not. <laughs> I mean, wasn't he concerned? About, I'm sure he's concerned yeah. about your danger, but... Of course, yeah. No, <laughs> no, we, we, we take every possible safety precaution. It's, it's all very safe. We have safety wires on. Uh, and because the thing nowadays is that, that they can erase the wires with a computer. So Rennie's like, well, why not have them do it? And then... Before we get into jumping through the ice... Yeah. Now, now I'm thinking, <laughs> now there's no airbag or anything under there? You, you're, oh. you're on like a bungee? No, we, we had, uh, like I said, safety wires and safety harnesses on that, that stopped us before we but hit the like, ground. But it's like, like that, right? Well, it, it, yeah, you know. Yeah. But you really jumped from a third-story yeah, window. We did. we did. And then you into the icy water. Well, we, we shot the ice thing separately. Um, uh, at one point, we actually, uh, they had a sheet of white paper that we burst through, and that stood in for the ice. But then uh, at one point, we actually went to a lake, and they took chainsaws and cut a hole in the ice, and Sam and I got in it. And, uh, and, and I mean, how cold was that? It was so insanely cold <laughs> that I thought I was going to die. I thought, well, first of all, I had this horrible fear from, from seeing uh, Houdini in the Tony Curtis movie where right, he, yeah. he goes in the hole in the ice, but he can't find the hole again. Oh, and yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's well, sure, out. but that happens. That's that happens it. all the time. No, uh, but they put like a, a scaffolding kind of frame in the hole so we couldn't escape the hole. <laughs> uh, so that, that couldn't happen. But, um, but Sam and I both had the same experience. It was like... A thousand ice cream headaches slamming you in the head at once. Oh, we, yeah, that's a we literally could not see when we came roaring out of this hole, and, uh, and the tragedy was that we had to do it two more times. Oh man, yes, yeah, yeah. like, but it is what a, a lot of sympathy. It's like I'm sitting getting. in a Slurpee. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Yeah. It's Ooh. terrible. It's the worst thing I, I, I've I, ever I done. I hate cold weather. See, cold weather it's for terrible. a girl is sexy. For a guy, well, it's death. You're <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. But the movie is just terrific. I mean, it's a lot of fun. And, and it really is a, a great action adventure. And it's real exciting that you did your own. I just thought that was great. That yeah, impressed me it was so a much. Lot of fun. And it's just nonstop. It just keeps going, man. And it opens uh, October 11th. It's a long kiss. Good night. Good night. I know you've got to run. So let me, let me, should I take that off? Okay. It's the best part of the job. <laughs> Gina, thank you very, very much. Gina Davis. Be right back with Rob Schneider. Hey, that was great.